Mission FC Now it's night time, we're chilling, there's music playing and there's magic in the air. But where is that magic coming from? That magic has come from this guy and it's Dynamo. How you doing Dynamo? Are you cool? I'm very good man, how are you doing? You alright? It was a nice view to pass the camera, but... Um... Yeah, a very, a, very, a very nice view, very nice view. Hey? Very nice, very nice. <laughs> that just lowered the tone of everything. Can we start again? I think we should start again. And there's magic in the air, there's music playing. But where's the magic coming from? It's come from this guy and it's Dynamo. How you doing, brother? I'm very good, thank you. Dynamo's not a musician himself, he's a magician. Yeah. Like a modern day Merlin, let's say. Will you say that? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's good. I like that. Like I like that? that, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So we're how long? Poor, but we're cooler. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, without the glasses. Yeah. So how's it been going? How long have you been doing it for? I've been performing for about 10 years. I've been into magic for probably most of my life. Yeah. But I only started performing like 10 years ago and yeah. you know it's kind of I hadn't stopped too early. Yeah, yeah. How did it start? You started with like a wand, grab out a hat, white gloves, uh, Paul Daniels inspired you, how did it, how, how did it I, all happen? I was inspired by my grandpa, hence why I've got grandpa tattooed on my neck there. So he's always looking over my shoulder watching my magic. Because right? um, he was in World War II and whilst he was there he used to use magic to entertain the troops and to get to bring the bring the morale up. Yeah. And um, I kind of you know, picked up some stuff from him. When he got out of the war, yeah. obviously it was the Great Depression. Yeah. So he kind of used his stuff to kind of hustle at the pool clubs and the pool halls. Right, yeah. First off, to get a bit of money because rations were tight. Yeah. And second off, to pick up, you know, some women. And he managed to, he managed <laughs> to bag my grandma and she's a winner, <laughs> right? So like, he kind of introduced the magic and then I kind of took what he did and kind of brought it to the 21st century. And you know, That's the, created, the modern day Merlin. Yeah, they created, the, you know, the first, the original, yeah, there's only one. Right? Except no imitations. What's going on, on brother? Dynam. Alright, what's up, Dynam? What's up? You give me a beat. <laughs> slow motion, slow it down. And stop. Oh, cool. Grab a different one. Look at the ace of spades, show it to everybody. Show it to Meth. Don't let me see it. Watch. Just um, put your hands like this, please. Watch. That's the one, right? Yeah. Did you feel that move? Yeah, I did feel that move. You like you like my sneakers? Yeah. Let's see, That's cold bloody right there. You want a mint? It ain't gonna fly away or no f like that. No, no, no. Uh, you want a mint as well? I'll take a mint. <coughs> Watch him die. <coughs> Play. Watch him die. I'm joking. It's so spooky. He already doing it. Oh. Did you want another mint? Uh, no, no. no. <laughs> you want that one? <laughs> nah, I'm good. I don't want that. I'm good. But what yeah. was your first trick, Dynamo? To be honest, the first thing I did, it wasn't... I mean, I'll do it to you. It wasn't seen okay. as magic because I grew up in Bradford, yeah? On yeah. Delphine Estate. It's quite rough. And okay. I had these two guys called Sonny and Dean, right? And luckily they stick up for me these days, so I can say their names right now. Yeah. But they would have, like... They used to do, they used to, first off, they'd threaten to break my fingers because if I used to kind of mess with cards, right. I was practicing with my cards, they'd threaten to break my fingers. Yeah. Secondly, they'd pick me up and put me in a wheelie bin and roll me down the Black Hill, which Delph Hill is famous, it's got a big massive Black Hill. Okay. And they put me in a wheelie bin and roll, yourself, roll me down it. Wow. It's not pleasant. Okay. It's not nice at all. Right? So I went up to him one day, I said, I'm sick of you threatening me. I looked him dead in the eye. Yeah. And I says, I'm not scared of you guys anymore. Yeah. You always threaten to break my fingers, but watch, I don't feel no pain. Look at this. Hey! And, and they kind of had the same reaction to you right now. And like, 
Right. So how, so how do you manage that? Well, after doing that, you know, they stopped threatening to bit my fingers. Right. They got a bit scared of me. Right. And then, but, can't do but, they, to him. But, all... but they still tried to put me in the weeder bins, yeah. so I have another, an, an alternative method to stop that. Okay. Basically, I learned a way of taking away their strength so they couldn't pick me up. Now, I don't wear that much, so I mean, just uh, lift me like that, yeah? Just, just lift me up. I wear by eight stars. Okay. You should be able to lift me, yeah? You can lift me, right? Yeah. I, I learned a way of taking away their strength. Yeah. So like they were the kind of things I used to do at the beginning because it was more a defense mechanism yeah. to help you know to kind of help yeah. me survive because I'm not a big yeah. guy but yeah. so in your hand we've got a 20p pound coin penny and a 50 pence right when you do you close your hand around them tight give them a little give, give them a little jingle so you can hear them yeah squeeze them tight now watch this stop 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 watch this I'm gonna take one coin out yeah invisibly I'll take out the penny watch this boom it's gone open your hand slowly. Is the penny gone? Right? The penny's gone, man. Now, the penny's gone, look, I'll do it slowly, fairly, really slowly. Right? What, what time does it say on your watch? Watch this. Imagine this is the penny, imagine this is the penny, watch. Boom. Look under your watch. Show the camera underneath your watch. Take the watch off, yeah? You can, like, like, you can slide underneath like that if you want, like. Is that how you're going on? <laughs> is that how you're going on? I know there's other magicians around. Um, you're already doing the same thing. Um, do you get on with, other, with, with all the other magicians that are around? Do you, are you friends? Are you all, do you all go out for beers and talk, and talk magic stuff? I'm friends with everyone, so you know, I don't drink alcohol myself, but oh, you know, so I go out for a drink, whatever, whoever, you know? So you, do you all get on well? Do you all share secrets? Is there like a rivalry going on or anything? I don't really share my stuff with anybody. I mean, like, what I do is original, I'll, like, so, you know, I inspire a lot of people. How long does it take you to do this, these magic tricks? And what makes you come up with such ideas for, for a trick? That's not magic at all. Shall we go back on that again? All the best of luck in the future. Keep the magic going.